Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be update number 5 to the Makeup Collection Roulette project. And this is a collab that I'm doing with my friend Sarah here on YouTube. Unfortunately she has not posted a video update to this project in a while. But if you want to go and check her out she will be listed in the description box. And if you want to join in in this project please do. We would love to have you join this project. I love this project and I know a lot of other people would probably love it too so yeah if you want to join in please do it and let me know down in the comments or on instagram so yeah let's just get into it, this update basically in this project we just have all of our makeup items in a spreadsheet and then we randomize five items use them over two weeks and then we come back give an update and then pull five new products and for me this is a way to rotate through the things that i have in my collection i don't think that i have any ambitions to actually go through all of my items in this project that would take several years uh, but maybe we'll see um yeah let's just get into it so the five items that i have been using for the past two weeks we can start with the one that i'm wearing on my nails so first is this isadora wonder nail nail polish in the shade aquatic so this is like a blue and I really enjoy it it's actually a really really pretty nail polish and definitely one that I reach for quite often when I want to paint my nails which is not that often <laughs> but yeah it's a really stunning shade and I'm happy to have it in my collection and I'm happy to have used it for the past uh, two weeks I used it once uh, and then I kind of reapplied it just going over the top after it chipped so I want it for quite a few days so yeah happy with this one then i had a lipstick and this is the exo beauty lipstick in shade ubuntu and this is probably dirty because it's a mirror packaging but this as i said is exo beauty which is shan exo's her like makeup brand and this is the shade ubuntu so it's a very like pale a pinky nude it i am wearing it today but i am wearing it on top of the urban decay glide on lip pencil in the shade 1993 and then because this is kind of a cool tone pinky nude i also apply this uh, kicks glossy liquid lipstick in the shade in style uh, on top so this is kind of more of a warm shade and then this is more of a pinky I will swatch the three of them and then you can compare the different colors but yeah this is definitely like a pinky nude at, at least on me <laughs> but yeah it's not my favorite formula i think that shanik so like always wears lip liners underneath her lipsticks and i'm like the opposite but i think that this lipstick needs a lip liner underneath so as i said i've been using the glide on pencil in 1993 i don't have that many um lip liners i have used another one uh, which is from lindex which is more like a mauve this is more like a dark brown and, and the other one is more like a mauve so then it turns really like pink and with this one it turns more of a, like a yeah more just a neutral nude uh, but yeah i think you definitely have to use this on top of a lip liner which is fine and then i have three powder products in this project and all three are in this small c palette so first up we have this makeup geek peach uh, smoothie shade and i don't have any photos that i can show you using these eyeshadows because they are so neutral but i have used them a few times i wore this all over my lid once which was really pretty and then i did like a liner i think yeah a blue liner which was really pretty uh, and i used this as like a transition shade today and then I to, I have also worn this uh, frappe a lot, but I did, this is also in the Mani MUA and Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. So I did use this just a few weeks ago from that palette as well. But I'm wearing it today also in my crease and on my outer corner, but then I have like a black to just deepen the outer corner a little bit. But this is frappe as I said, which is kind of like a neutral, kind of warm brown. And then the fifth and last product is this blush this is also from makeup geek and this is in the shade bliss i am wearing this today as well it's kind of a subtle blush it's not very it's not like super pigmented it's a really pretty shade but i think you have to both you have to like build it up and i think you have to be uh, like pretty fair for it to show up so i think i will enjoy it more during the winter because now i actually have <laughs> i actually have a tan <laughs> uh, so i have some color to me so i think it's 
I had to build it up a lot and I don't think it looks that good uh, like built up like this so I think I will enjoy this more during the winter as I said and I will definitely reach for it again when I'm more fair but yeah those were the five products that I have been using for the past five weeks as I said not much to like show a uh, uh, nude lipstick and then just these like nude eyeshadows so hopefully we get something more fun that I can create more like fun looks uh, this time so I'm gonna pull up a pretty random on my phone and as I said before I kind of switched because in the beginning of this project I had a spreadsheet with the palettes uh, or like my eyeshadow palettes listed uh, as just one product uh, but then I didn't really feel like I got a good representation like using I didn't have time to use the palette enough during the two weeks to give a review on the entire palette so now I have switched so last time I switched to a spreadsheet where I had like all of the eyeshadows in every single like every single pan listed in that spreadsheet but then I also had like a few random products so like a few hair care products and a few just like uh, face masks and stuff in that spreadsheet as well uh, and I only got makeup products but for this time I have a new spreadsheet again which is with all of the eyeshadow palettes listed like pan by pan but I have removed all of the random stuff but I did keep nail polishes because I really enjoyed pulling a nail polish for this project but so in that spreadsheet the new one I have one through 1143 products so let's randomize 689 and then again 978 684 149 and then the last one is gonna be 1029 Okay, so uh, let's go to the uh, spreadsheet case. Okay, so let's start with 600. Only, no, I have 149. I'm going to start with that one because it's in the top of the, the spreadsheet. And 149 is from one of my C palettes. And oh, <laughs> it's actually the one that is just below this one. So this is Bliss, but now I got Secret Admirer. So I'm excited to use that one that is really also more of a winter shade for me it's kind of like a purple shade uh, but as I said I'm still excited to use it okay and then we have 684 and 684 is from the Suva uh, Keepers of a Magic palette and it's the shade Fairy Dust and I'm not completely sure which one that is or which color that is it might be the white but it might also be yeah we'll see and then I also have 689, uh, yeah, 689, which is from the Kat Von D uh, Metal Matte Palette, and it's in the shade Glit. I think that's the like lilac shade, which is nice because that's like my favorite eyeshadow color. But I also have like a lilac shade in my Panda palette, so I will have to take a break from that to use Glitz. And then we have. 978 and 978 is a lipstick from Nabla and it's in the shade Rock and Nude. I think they have a sale on their website at least while filming this and I hope this go up like the same day that I'm filming. Uh, so they might have like a summer sale. I think they had like three for two or something on their entire website. I'm not sure but excited to use that and then we have 1029 and that is from Colourpop and it's one of their lipsticks in the shade Baywatch so yeah I'm gonna pull all those out and show them to you okay so I'm back and I have all of the products in front of me so first off I was wrong <laughs> about this Kat Von D metal and matte palette I thought it was this shade but it's actually this shade here which is as I said is called Dit and it's kind of like a pale pink shimmer shade so excited to use that and then from this one I think this is the uh, Suva Keepers of Magic palette and I think it's this one in Fairy Dust that I got because it's very I think I had like mixed them up in here because I've taken them out and then put them back in and it's kind of like a green and purple it's kind of easy to tell but then there's this is like a I don't know if it's supposed to be gray or blue but then here is completely black so that's why I think it's 
fairy dust is the white one because like it has no color and that's why it's completely like black in here so I think it's this one the shimmery white and then as I said I got two lip colors or lipsticks this is the Nabla Rocky nude lipstick so it's more like a warm tone nude I'm really excited about this one even though it's not my favorite formula <laughs> from what I remember and then this is the Cow Pop lipsticks in lippy stick in the shade Baywatch which is more of like a pinky mauve kind of rosy shade so excited to use that one as well and then the last product is a blush as I said and this is from Makeup Geek in the shade Secret Admirer so this is kind of like a cool tone pink um, but yeah excited to use this one it's definitely like a very pale uh, cool tone pink but yeah so I will be wearing those two for the next two weeks and then I will come back and show you and talk about them and yeah I'm excited about that I think I will regret not wearing lashes in the vi this video when I'm editing because I'm always wearing lash or I'm always I always regret not wearing lashes in my videos if I'm not but I don't wear lashes like normally I it's very very rare that I wear lashes like outside of filming but I feel like it looks better filming I feel like I get a little bit washed out just like my eyes <laughs> when I'm filming and yeah I'm probably gonna regret not putting them on but oh well that's the choice I made today <laughs> But yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!